Hey there, hey collective. Welcome back to my platform. Thank you for watching as always. I appreciate your support really quickly. Look, listen, people, your sister is trying to do this full time. So I need you all to please like, comment, subscribe, share. Like we need to solidify this, solidify this platform. I woke up today and my numbers were looking a little funny, but I'm hoping that YouTube will catch up and do the right thing. So I'm not really tripping. It was just a little that, uh, hold on, that's not what, that's not what was there yesterday, but I'm sure they'll work on it in the back end, so I'm not going to freak out about it. But thank you for watching. Let's go ahead and see what in the name of source is going on here. I see karma taking place. <laughs> so, we have a king of pentacles here that made a wrong turn. Um, so someone is experiencing a lot of karma in their business, in their love life, just in everything. And this is because someone took a risk that just did not go in their favor. Someone came up against you to cause you an ending. This is because this person got involved in something that they should have never gotten involved into. This is someone extremely uh, karmic. But because they have a lot of money, a lot of connections, possibly a lot of different businesses, you know, someone that has like multiple source of incomes and things like that. This is someone that's extremely superficial, does not go within, even though they are often guided by spirit to go within and see things from a higher perspective. This person chose not to when it came in regards to you. This could be some, someone that has been living like that for many, many years. They just kind of tend to disregard people because of the amount of money they have in their pocket, but karma has caught up to them. There is something where this king of pentacles, you were possibly like their last leg. Um, so you are someone who is like an opportunity for a redemption when people meet you, right? So it's like they've done a lot of wrongs in their life and the most high will put you on their path and test them to do the right thing so that they can be redeemed. But this person chose the wrong path. This is someone that chose to go up against you for finances or just for entertainment because some people are built like this where they get a sickening thrill out of causing other people like and things like that. There is someone that has been walk, working behind the scenes to block some of you forward movement. For example, because I'm a social media content creator, I'm going to use that as an example. Let's say you are producing content, uploading your content. There is someone behind the scenes interfering with that. They may have access to your social media platform where they are watching your stuff before you, uh, before it's made public, commenting on there, liking it, and things like that. And I'm using that because that's something I've experienced as well and still experience on this platform. Um, so things like that could be going on. You could have worked for a company as well or be working for a company where people are possibly messing with your work and this king of pentacles may have indulged in this behavior where he was either lying on you or uh, helping further a narrative that just was not true right this person was supposed to be someone that was supposed to bring balance into a situation with you but this is someone that chooses to be karmic and this is not a young energy this is someone mature in age but they don't act like it because of the people they have around them and the amount of money they have but it looks like they're losing a lot of finances business is coming to some type of end. They're experiencing a lot of endings in their businesses and things like that. And this is because of actions they took around you. Someone is extremely superficial. Someone is like really lustful. Someone is not committal. It's like they wanted to come in to give you some type of immature love offer and things like that, hoping that you will see them in a better light. Um, but it's not happening. They're being blocked because of this intention that they have for you. They are being blocked out of your energy. You and this person will not be Getting here, getting together here. This is why you are showing up as the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse because you will not be collaborating with this person. You will not be partnering up with this person because of the actions they took against you behind the scenes that you may not be aware of, but the universe is aware of it and your ancestors are aware of it. Someone is experiencing a lot of blockages in their finances, a lot of stagnation, and they're going to keep experiencing those stagnations and blockages until they do right by you, says your ancestors. Someone cannot come towards you. This, is, this was their plan.
right? They were going to come in, present you with some type of false business opportunity, some type of false work opportunity, just so they could trap you with them and it cost you an ending. It's like they present you with your dream job, you accept it, and then you're working your job. And then one day, maybe three months later, they come in and say, oh, well, the business is closed or you're fired. Or they come and present you with some type of false work opportunity. The business is not real and you end up leaving your, your good nine to five uh, to go work for this person only to find out that it was a false work offer the whole time now you have no job and has have to struggle to find a new job uh losing finances and things like that right so this is what this person was planning to do um but they're being blocked out of your energy that is the only reason why this queen, that is one of the reason why this queen of pentacles is showing up here in the reverse and it's also uh emphasizing that this person finances is out of balance is out of white this person is going through a lot of heavy uh, uh distress mental emotional all types of distress right because their finances are being affected because of what they did to you it's almost like you know people will do things for so many times you can you can uh um uh, uh, you can uh, uh what is the word i want to use you can destroy a lot of lives right like a hundred people let's say for example you get accustomed to doing it and getting away with it but then you come across one star c and you try to mess with them and then the universe is after your behind you end up losing everything you lose your relationships your finances uh your assets everything the universe will humble you to the ground and you will have to learn your lesson and from the ground you have to build yourself back up so you can understand the destruction that you caused into every one of those hundred people lives and all of that is because you came up against a star sea right it's very dangerous to go up against a star sea because these are not people that pick fights with the other with others these are not people that go around looking for trouble these are not people that you know are chaotic or dra dramatic and things like that these are people that oftentimes keep to themselves um and just try to stay in a positive energy heal other people but because we have a lot of people that are not healed and don't want to do the work when they come across energies like these they are intimidated they get really upset frustrated angry and things like that because you reflect something that is not within them and because you reflect something that is not within them it bothers them so they feel like they have to take you down knowing very well they cannot take you down and every action they take against you is being accounted for and they will have to pay for it and oftentimes we will tell these people like leave me alone leave me alone i'm not bothering you or we'll just watch them until karma comes to bite them in the behind as you know sister mayat she knows everybody's addresses even the nomads so there's nothing you can do to hide from karma or mayat or the universe obviously we live in a globe where can you go where can you hide huh nowhere so this person is experiencing a lot of ending whatever plans they had to come against you they were planning to take some type of impulsive action towards you it's being blocked this person is is receiving uh ending themselves they're being humble they may they're losing a lot of finances for some of you they're losing their stabilities and things like that someone wanted to block some type of message or acceleration for you it's like they wanted to block your growth bring an ending to that and they are disappointed because you still keep working so this is like some Someone really immature working behind the scenes to affect your work and they want you to get frustrated and things like that and just decide I don't want to do this anymore I'm so sick of this uh, but you're not doing that you keep working and it's pissing them off they think this is someone with like a really childish but interesting mindset it's like they think the more they do against you the more you're gonna want to be with them or they can seclude you in like a destitute situation where you end up calling them reaching out to them so that they can come save you but it's like every action this person takes against you is repulsing you about them is that you see someone or you know someone is messing with you but all you think of is s-h-i-t when you think or see this person um but they don't understand that they think that the more they do against you the closer they're drawing you to them the the the, the logic is not logic in for me 
is just not doing it and i don't think it ever will if it does for some of you let it, let us know in the comment section so we can understand where you're coming from we don't judge around here but you keep focusing on your work which is what spirit has been guiding you to do you're moving on to calmer waters you're moving on with your life um someone caused you a lot of loss in the past but it's okay someone may have blocked a message uh and it's causing them a lot of heartache because they know whoever they're blocking is still coming towards you. You're still going to be moving on to calmer waters. There is someone from your past. This could be a family member. This could be a friend. This could be your ex-lover, whoever it is. This person is going through a lot of betrayals and endings. This person is having nightmares, anxiety, uh, 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 just they are withdrawn. This person is going through some type of emotional breakdown because they know there is someone genuine coming towards you to make you an offer to have a brand new passionate beginning with you. Someone that they team up with or someone they lied to about you has seen the truth and this person is advocating for you. So this person from your past is having, having mental conflict. It's like they want to take action to come in and block this offer from coming towards you but there's nothing they can do someone may want to send you a message right to confess their love to you like the person from the past but you're not interested in this person as i said earlier you've moved on with your life if you're someone like me we don't turn back we are forward moving i believe that dating an ex is like moving backwards in life it's like taking off dirty clothes and putting it back on why would you want to do that I don't know. Let me know in the comment section. Try to make logic out of it so I can try to understand from your perspective. But for me, that's not an option. Going back to the past is never an option and never will be. Okay. So this person is going through a lot of ending. They are being betrayed. Just like they betrayed you because for some of you, this person took a lot of actions behind the scenes to betray you. This could have been someone that lied on you. Someone said that you were not genuine. You were not authentic. You were pretentious. That you didn't show your true colors. You are not really loving and things like that. But people are seeing the truth about you. You are someone that's exactly who you present yourself to be, right? Um, and people love this about you. Whoever this King of Cups is, your ex is extremely upset that this King of Cups is standing their ground. They are the defending you they are still stepping out on faith taking the risk to come towards you and tell you the truth because there is something here that is not being cleared up right there is a queen of wands in here who your ex partnered up with they may have gotten into a relationship with this person they're wanting to leave this person out in the cold going with inch seeing the truth trying to come to you now and give you some type of ingenuine love offer this is not a good a, a solid commitment a solid offer this is someone just trying to trick you right they think it's like you date someone right and they think they know you but they really don't so they think that the image of you what they believe about you is true and they still have some type of hold on you or over you and they think that they can rush in to manipulate you into getting back into a relationship with them but again you don't see this person as a, a option right and it's not because you despise them or anything they're just not an option for you you've moved on with your life even if you had not moved on they're still not an option because you want to be forward moving right so this person and a queen of wands may have gotten together to steal something from you possibly a house possibly an opportunity to block an opportunity and the truth is being seen someone went and received some type of counseling or the truth from maybe a, a, a practitioner or something of that nature and the truth is being seen something is being taken away from a queen of wands and being given to you a uh, star c but it's something that's going to be genuine it could be like a business opportunity a work opportunity uh, and it's something that's going to be truth there is a masculine that may want to communicate with you collaborate with you this person may want to give to you um, so that you can move forward with your life you they see you as someone extremely balanced right they may know that you have a lot going on in your life, but you are still choosing to go forward, to move forward in life and bring balance into uh, your situation. You're not like sitting around moping, moping about life and things like that because you have like something within you. You have a strength within you that is supernatural. And it's like no matter what people do to you, where they're trying to destroy you and things of that nature, they just cannot because you are someone guided by the cosmos. And I want you to see your energy, how it's showing up here. You're showing up here as the star C. You're showing up here with the strength card. And you're showing up here as the magician. 
that is absolutely beautiful. You are someone that is complete all around, right? You're someone that is genuine. You're someone nurturing, someone who is a blessing. You are a truth teller. You live in your truth. You don't care what people think about you. They may think you're weird. They may think you're this and you're that, but you don't care because you know who you are. Your connection to source is extremely strong and solidified. There's nothing people can do to cut that connection. It will always be there. You are protected and then you have strength, right? So you may appear to be fragile to people so they often assume that they can just come and flick flick you off you know to the side and take advantage of you until they fool around and find out that that is not the situation so you are someone extremely balanced you are not just mentally powerful but you are spiritually as well right you have all the necessary tools you need to take charge of your life direct your path the universe is telling you right now that whatever it is you want to do in life they are supporting you. They are guiding you. Whatever it is you are doing in life at the moment, they are supporting and guiding you as well, right? So keep moving forward. There's nothing anyone can do to stop your forward movement. There could have been some type of magic taking on behind this taking place behind the scenes to block you. Uh for some of you, these are just people getting online to put stupid things under your comment section. For some of you, these are people at work just messing with your uh, uh, your job behind the scenes, trying to get you fired and things like that. But no matter what they do, they will not succeed because they're never meant to. Uh, I remember I used to work a job and people were doing stupid things there trying to get me fired. And I remember one of the women's not one the woman i was sharing an office with i knew that she was part of it and i remember they were doing like all these stupid tactics and i had to act like i didn't know what was going on because it had gotten to a point where i just was not feeling safe there so i just kind of decided to play my car uh, play stupid and act like i didn't know what was going on but i remember one day i got a little fed up and i told her you know it doesn't matter what was done i'm going to leave this job when i decide to leave this job like no one is going to fire me from this job right and that's exactly what happened i didn't tell them exactly when i was going to leave because i knew if i would have told them that i was leaving they would have made my life a living hell more than it already was it's like this is you coming to work every day and people are bullying you um because of jealousy insecurity and things that you don't even have control over in their lives it's like i can't make you be secure in yourself you have to do that for yourself so if you're intimidated by me or whatever that is something you have to work on that's not something i can fix and that's not something i did anything to make you feel right i don't know how else to put that but that is kind of the energy you need to be in people do not have control over your life you are showing up here as the magician so you are in control of your path right everything you need is in your hand if you ever need anything at all the universe is going to provide that they will touch the right people's hearts the people you have contracts with they will bring them into your life to provide those things okay so you never have to scoop low stealing undercutting people doing malicious things behind the scenes to get anything that you want right a choice has been made to give you an offer. Um, this is an ace of pentacles. This is a pretty big offer. And this is going to enable you to close a chapter that has been quite tumultuous in some of you's lives. So you're putting an end to one thing and you are starting a brand new chapter with the truth. You're speaking your truth. You're taking charge of your life. You are living with clarity. There could have been something that was being misrepresented about you and things like that. And people are about to be seeing you in a better life. I love the fact that the Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords, and the Ace of Cups are out here. Absolutely beautiful. Um, so this means that you have a lot of abundance coming your way. You're about to have the equal give and take partnership in business and in love. Um, the true, you're about to have a solid uh, offer in life, moving forward, clarity, things of that nature. You may have a little bit of a challenge in this new beginning, but that's okay. Every chapter you in enter into your life, there is going to be some type of challenge, but it's nothing that you cannot overcome. Um, this is of pentacles. Just know that when you receive it, Something in your life is going to be coming to an end as well, but it's quite okay because what's ahead of you is bigger than what's behind you. So you just keep moving forward in confidence. Something is being looked over and things like that. There is a choice being, a decision being made because someone knows that you deserve what 
this is or this belongs to you. You are the, the perfect fit for this opportunity. So you have some type of news coming in about abundance that's going to put you in a beautiful energy. And I call it my privileged lady or privileged gentleman energy, right? You are about to be living in wish fulfillment. Some of you may partner up with someone that is extremely successful in business or you two are going to be successful in business um, and you will be wish fulfillment for each other. Someone sees you as wish fulfillment right now. They may just be wanting to think, take things slow with you because they don't want things to go wrong. They don't want things to end. Um, so they're taking things slowly right now um, um, for the right time to approach you and things like that. But you have some amazing abundance coming your way. Um, this karma that this person is experiencing, it is something that they brought on themselves, right? Uh, and this is because of actions they took against you. It's like someone was living in some type of superficial lifestyle with someone that was not fulfilling or they were surrounded by a group of people that just was not fulfilling them. And the universe gave them a last chance to do right. It's that you, the universe is said, oh, so you want to be in a genuine connection? You want to have genuine people in your life? Okay, I'm going to put my star C in your path. Let's see how you treat him. Let's see how you treat her. And this person failed. They took a bit, right? Uh, it's like someone accepted something not knowing that they were trapping themselves or someone got into a connection with a false person not realizing that they were trapping themselves. Now they're losing uh, uh, finances. They're losing peace. They have a lot of headache they have to deal with with this person or this situation, and it's just a nightmare for them. Someone is losing quite a lot. Uh, the decision that they made about you, they've made it too late. It's like someone choosing you at the last minute after they already chose a Jizzy Bell after you or something like that. But it's like, mm -mm. You, you stay where you are, okay? This person is stuck. They cannot take any actions uh, towards you. It's like someone wanted to come in to cause you mental conflict, to cause you some type of... Uh, uh, um, delusion, illusion, whatever we want to call it, so that you could make a horrible decision. They wanted to prevent you from going within and seeing the truth about something they participated in, but this person is blocked out of your energy. They're experiencing a lot of endings in their finances and things like that. Whereas you, you're having a brand new passionate beginning in everything, love, health, relationship, family, uh, business, empire, everything right and this person is experiencing a lot of endings in the opportunities that they used to have it's like their life is just crashing down rule awakening humbling awakening uh, revelations like the truth is just being exposed right there's uh also for some of you a queen a king of cups in here that cannot give you an offer it's like the chapter you were supposed to have with this person is not starting um it's ending before it even started, they may want to come in and give you closure, but they cannot because what they did behind the scenes is just too embarrassing and just too malicious for you to move forward with them. It's like you'll forgive them, but you are not moving forward with them, right? Um, but for some of you, there's a queen, king of cups in here that you will be having a brand new passionate beginning with in love. Um, and this is not someone that is malicious. This is just someone that, you know, you, you two will be from like two different walks of life, um, but you will come together and work things out um, in the way that it fits and works for you. Someone is having a lot of fantasies about you. A lot of fantasy. Someone dreams a lot. It's like they watch you all day. If they see, if you have like a social media platform, they listen to you or maybe they have a picture of you in some way, shape or form that they are looking at. If you maybe ever communicated with this person, left a voicemail or something, they are replaying that in their, uh, uh, daily life just to hear your voice and things like that. Someone is standing their ground about you. It's like you, they are protecting you from behind the scenes. They know that you are the truth. You are speaking the truth. Someone knows that you are the right choice uh, for a blessing, an opportunity, a union, everything, right? So they're coming towards you. Someone was guided to see things from a higher perspective. They're experiencing some type of ending, some type of loss. And for some of you, this could be like family members and things like that, right? That worked or collaborated with this group behind the scenes to cause you some type of ending. And they are going through some type of humbling experience. You yourself, you could have experienced some type of loss in your work because of action these people took. They didn't want you having a fresh start in life, but you're stepping out bold 
bold and confident. And this is what these people were wanting to prevent. They don't want to see you confident. They don't want to see you happy because you have opportunities coming towards you that these people will never have a chance at. Um, and But that's not your that's not your business. That's not your fault. The most high gives to people what it believes that they deserve, right? So you deserve this ace of pentacles because the most high believes that you have done the work to have that ace of pentacles. And that's exactly what you're going to have. The ace of uh, uh, swords, the ace of cups. This, These are all things that you deserve by the standards and the uh, uh, judgment of the most high. So that is exactly what you're going to have. You have a beautiful opportunity coming towards you. Someone could end up putting some of you on the world stage where people will be watching you, listening to you. Your voice is going to be extremely influential in the world for a lot of you. You're going to be in a partnership that is a uh, uh, um, very spiritually high ranking, influential. People are going to admire the love that you have for each other and it's going to be something extremely authentic right it's not going to be one of those pretentious you know family channels that you see on youtube where they're pretending to be this pretending to be that but then behind the scenes they are a hot mess it's not one of those like when people see the two of you together they're going to know that the love is genuine the connection is genuine um so that is absolutely something beautiful the both of you could be coming out of situations where you were betrayed maybe you're dealing with a narcissist and things like that. Now you're entering into a relationship that you two will be pouring into each other. There will be equal give and take, you know, reciprocity. The things that matter in relationships will be there, will be there, right? Uh, Queen of Pentacles here in the reverse. Someone wanted to cause you some type of loss. They wanted to interfere with your finances and things like that. Someone thought that if they interfere with your finance um, for long enough that you will give up on your work, give up on life and things like that. And you would just, you know, give up on yourself and then go seeking them for help and things like that. But that's not how it has gone. You are still moving forward. You're taking charge of your life, advocating for yourself. There are people advocating for you as well behind the scenes uh in hidden places i always say let's let's not bring too much attention to our hidden helpers in hidden places because we don't want people interfering with the help that they are giving us so let's take a moment take a moment to thank our hidden helpers in hidden places Thank you, darlings. Anyways, someone wants to come in and give you some type of donation to bring balance back into your life, to have you living in that beautiful energy that is about you as well. And someone is heartbroken about this, right? They don't want you receiving this opportunity, this blessing, whatever it is, because there are people that are emotionally imbalanced. I prefer to see other people hurting other people are broken because they themselves are broken. This is that hurt people hurt people. Uh, so because they're hurting, they want to see you hurting. Someone is pissed off, angry, heartbroken, everything you can think of because you are still sealing to calmer waters. Someone wanted to take some type of quick action to come in and, you know, cause you mental conflict. Someone wants you to be living under un, under some type of illusion that you don't know what direction to take. If you take courage to move forward with someone else, you'll be doing the right thing that you need to go back to the past and things like that. The past cares about you genuinely. It does not. There's a reason why the past is in the past, right? Um, so regardless of what these people are doing, you are still taking the courage to move forward with your life, right? You've come to a place in life where everything is balanced within you mentally. You've mastered yourself. This is why we have the strength and the magician card out here. You have mastered yourself. So people cannot easily come in and say, hey, uh, do this, or this is not going to work out. Don't do that. Or, you know, they say I'm doing tarot. Obviously, someone comes in and tell me that's never going to succeed for you. And I say, oh my gosh, they're probably right. I should probably stop doing tarot. Like, why? Why did I pick this up? I'm not even gifted. I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm not skilled. They don't think I'm skilled. So I need to just let it go. Uh, no, we're going to keep going. This, These are tactics people do to interfere with your forward movement. And I'm saying that because I know before I was healed, before I was where I am today, this is something people used to do to me. Like I had an ex-lover that I will get, like I would create platforms. I've been trying to do this YouTube thing for a while. And before I was here, when I would start a platform, he will go and create like fake profiles to, you know, pull like uh, disgusting comments under my content. Um, so that when I saw it and I'll be like, Oh gosh, um, 
people don't really like my content. They think I'm this. They think I look like this. And, you know, they think that something is wrong with my content. It's not really good. So then I will stop, you know, posting on my channel. I would end up giving up on there. And he did this for a while. Um, and I picked up on it. And this is because before I was, like, spiritually woke, um, aware of myself and who I was. So he did this for a while for multiple platforms. And I will end up giving up a lot of the times and just close the platform and things like that. But I got to a point where I was like, something is just not right. It's like every time I create a platform, someone is putting like comments that seem to be really consistent with one another. Um, there's just something dark going on. So in 2020, Three, early 2023, I decided to commit myself to my healing journey. And I was like, you know what? No matter what's going on, no matter what people say, I'm going to create my content. I'm going to put it out there. I'm going to live in my truth. I'm going to disregard the haters and things like that. Any negative Bettys, negative Karens under my videos making comments, I'm going to disregard. And so I got on TikTok and started doing that. Lo and behold, he started doing the same thing as well, had other people doing the same thing as well. And I just didn't care. I kept going for a year. When my content was supposed to blow up, they went in and interfered with that page, locked me out of it and things like that. So I lost access to that page. Um, and now they're trying to do the same thing on this page. So we're going to keep moving forward, right? This is what insecure and, uh, uh, unhealed people do they they are there to basically destroy your confidence that dis to destroy your hope and things like that they want you to feel small because they feel small uh, and it's not because you did anything anything to them these are people that were damaged way before you even came into contact with them and they think them uh Doing this to you is going to destroy or humble you in some type of way. But some of us, we are built a little different. And this is because of the experiences we've gone through and our connection to source and how much source loves us, right? And the lineage, lineages that we come from, I kid you, I can never say that word for some reason. <laughs> um, but because of some of the bloodlines we come from, there's always better opportunity for us. So when people destroy one thing, the the source has something better for us. So please don't let anyone dis, uh, uh, you know, uh, 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 disappoint you or uh, make you feel like whatever it is you're working on or choose to do in life does not matter or it's not going to prosper. It is absolutely going to prosper. Just keep pushing, keep truth trusting source your ancestors your guardian angels the universe to keep guiding and protecting you okay uh so whoever was coming towards you this past person cannot um uh, they don't have any finances to come towards you they're experiencing some type of blockages someone may have gotten fired from work in this situation and they're having some type of financial loss as well like they lost their job um and someone in here could end up going to jail as well because of things they've been doing behind the scenes um so because they have endings coming in their lives they want to come in hoping that if they attach themselves to you that you will bring balance back into this situation is that someone feels like they will be protected on uh under your roof or around you but that's not how it's set up source is blocking this person out of your energy because this is someone that is not healed someone sees you as beautiful they may have told people that you all that's all there is to you you're just someone beautiful and someone that sleeps around when it's not true it's like yes you are beautiful but you're also someone that's extremely mental very gifted talented very intelligent uh mentally balanced hard working committed to your craft and things like that someone may have a, a painted you to be like a marshmallow like people can just do whatever it is they want to you and so maybe a lot of unhealed people uh insecure people may have gotten together to come up against you only to find out that yeah you may be a queen of cups but you're not one of those queen of cups that just bends over backwards for people like i call myself i'm a sweetheart with a sword so you come for me i pull my sword out you don't come for me i show you love okay I don't pick fights with people. I will finish it though. That's how it is. So you are being encouraged, Queen of Wands, Star C, Magician. You are being advised to keep moving forward, take charge of your life. You are in control of this situation. So these people, whoever this is, may be wanting you to believe that they have control over the situation. They don't. 
You are in control of this situation. You are stepping into abundance. You're about to be living a good life. People know this, and this is why they are interfering with your forward movement so that you can give up on life and just decide, oh, I've been working on this forever, and it's just not going anywhere. Oh my gosh, my numbers don't look like what they're supposed to. My product is not selling like it's supposed to or like it used to. My business is this, my business is that. Those are all tactics of the enemy to cause you stagnation, to cause you conflict in your life. Disregard that mess, okay? So that is it for now. Thank you for watching. Stay blessed. Goodbye for now.